Welcome to Learning by Design, a social media lesson plan creating and sharing platform. Hundreds of elements have already been created by teachers and shared by them. They're assigned by age range and subject matter so that they're searchable. Elements can be viewed in teacher mode, student mode, or in a combined mode. Learning elements are created by teachers as designs of learning experiences. They transform teachers into pur purposeful lesson designers rather than just curriculum implementers. As we're seeing here, a completed learning element can be quite extensive and offers scaffolding to teachers to remind them of the value of multimodality and to appeal to learner diversity. Learning by Design includes an easy-to-use lesson plan editor. First, they create the description and then describe the focus of the learning element. They can link the element to standards such as the Common Core Standards in the United States, and they can describe its learning objectives. They describe its learning objectives in terms of four epistemological approaches. That's things that learners do in order to learn. These approaches include applied, conceptual, analytical, and experiential. These can be further broken down, such as experiencing the known or experiencing the new. Each lesson plan is created in a sequence, but these sequences can be moved easily through dragging and dropping them just as teachers can work on any section of the learning element that they like, in no particular order, until it's completed. They assign the element as a whole a copyright. It could be a traditional copyright, where teachers retain their intellectual property, or a Creative Commons license, where they share their work for others to adapt and adopt. Their credit is preserved, here on screen, we're seeing one of the most important collaborative features of the learning element, where learning element authors can invite co-authors. They can invite folks to referee their learning elements or to serve as copy editors. And that's all just an email away. The author then decides how to display the learning element as HTML, as a PDF, in teacher view, student view, or a combined view as we're about to see. The student view, for example, could be projected on a smart board or a computer screen to form a structure that students can follow in class. Media can be embedded. And web links can also be embedded. We return to the Hunger Games. On the left is the language of the profession of teaching, and on the right is the language of the classroom. One of the teachers who designed this learning element said that she believed it's most important advantage was creating agency in students. Assignment objectives, conceptual, analytical, are shared with students. They know what they're supposed to be learning, and they can follow along very carefully in the activities designed to enhance that learning. For example, in Learning Activity 7, students are taught to think about different elements of satire that occur in the Hunger Games novel. In Learning Activity 12, they apply that knowledge to creating their own Hunger Games tribute, and they think about advertising strategies that are used to manipulate the public in such moments of public spectacle.